Hey everyone, welcome back to the Strip District here in downtown Pittsburgh. I am back yet again, and for one reason, one reason only, and that is food. Last time I was here, I did a chow time episode on the S&D Polish Deli, where I tried and enjoyed some really great pierogies and some fantastic kibasi. But in the comments, many people suggested going to Permanthe Brothers, which is also located here in the Strip. Now it's been several years probably at least six years, if not more, since the last time I had a Permanente Brothers sandwich. So I took your recommendation, return to the strip. We're gonna head to the restaurant, grab a seat, order some food and have some lunch. So if you'd like to join me, come along with me for a new episode of Child Time with JP. Down here at the corner of Penn Ave and 18th Street and straight down here, we'll find Permanente Brothers. Hopefully I can get some outside seating, that way I'm not uh, having to worry about excess noise on the inside or interfering with people's lunch. So once I get seated and uh, get ordered, I will bring you guys right back. It smells really good in here. We're going to order our food and take it outside. Alrighty, got the food to go outside at the outdoor seating area here. Like I said, it's been years since I've had a sandwich from Comanche Brothers, which was a local one near Scranton. This one is definitely hopping though, in and out with people. It's a nice little place. They do have, um, the sandwich is falling apart. They do have a, uh, a lot of signs in there for Steelers, Pirates, you know, they definitely support their local teams here. I'm getting surrounded by birds here. So I opted for the pastrami and cheese. It was a toss up between that and corned beef. I let them pick, they picked pastrami for me. I got a order of fries as well. I'm gonna throw a little salt on them. Now, if you never had a sandwich from them, they are known for their signature sandwiches because the sandwiches come with coleslaw and french fries on built on, built on top of it so it's a it's a mountain of a sandwich it's cut in half it's right here the only thing i don't really care for i will eat it just because it comes with it is tomato i could ask for without it but i got it the way it comes it's on two big pieces of bread and you can see the french fries are in there coleslaw pastrami cheese and it's steaming hot so all right, I'll be nice. I'll let you guys have the first bite. All right, not so big a bite. Save me some. All right, here we go. The mouthful. That has some really good flavor. It's a little bit sweet. It's savory. You got the crunch of the coleslaw and the french fries and the pastrami is nicely cooked. Uh, not a big pastrami connoisseur, but I do enjoy it in a sandwich like this every so often. It's definitely enjoyable though. Uh, for the sandwich, fries and drink came to $15 and this is definitely gonna fill me up. The fries themselves, once I show you, it's a mountain of fries. It's like more than I'm gonna be able to handle today. So you guys are gonna have to help me finish it. I'll take another bite though and then I'll try the french fries for you. That is good. So for the fries here, here they are. I mean, look at, compared to my head, it's a big order of fries. Give them a little smell, they smell good. Now, these are not your traditional crispy French fries. These are more like boardwalk fries. They have the skin on them still. So even though they're not the right texture for me, they still have good flavor. They are enjoyable. But this is just a side of fries. I mean, that's a good portion there. Enough for two, three people easily. Grab a thumbnail. So I just want to say to those of you that did recommend this, thank you. It's definitely an enjoyable lunch. It's gonna keep me uh, 
going for the rest of the day. Kind of, I forgot how big the, the sandwiches are, but even with the tomato on there, I'm still enjoying it. And personally, I'm not a person who likes cabbage with the sauerkraut, but there are two exceptions. This sandwich, and I do like sauerkraut on hot dogs. Otherwise, I don't really care for it, but. All right, I'm gonna go through this one. We'll continue on with the fries. And, uh, geez. Oh, oh, friend right here. Getting pretty brave. It's like, is that one of those famous pastrami sandwiches? <laughs> Come on, you guys gotta help me out. I'm not gonna be able to finish all this. Take some, take a handful. There's plenty here. In all reality though, it's more food they can handle. I mean, I don't know if I'm getting old or what. I love food, I love to eat. And I actually skipped breakfast for this. And there's no way I'm gonna be able to finish it. So with that being said, if you're someone who doesn't eat really large portions, this is enough for two people. If you split it up cost-wise, it's only seven bucks and change a person. Really affordable. You're gonna leave feeling filled and satisfied without a doubt. I didn't think it was so big. I forgot. Whew. I'm gonna do what I can here and probably bag the rest to go. So I'm gonna wrap it up here. Otherwise, um, you're just gonna see me sitting here feeling the pain. But uh, thank you for watching this episode of Child Time with JP. Thanks to those of you who did suggest it. Uh, from Anthony Brothers, there is two of them here in Pittsburgh. This one's in the Strip District and the other one is downtown somewhere. But this one was recommended to check this one out. So I'm glad I came. It was just a short bus ride from my hotel. You're back again. You're coming really close. You're not getting my sandwich. These birds. I thought for a second you're gonna take a bite of my sandwich. But um, yeah, definitely, I recommend coming here. It's a small little place. They definitely have a lot of uh, Pittsburgh Steelers, Pirates, stuff like that on the wall. So if you like that type of atmosphere, <laughs> consider checking it out. Uh, great staff in there. They're friendly, polite, helpful. And uh, if I come back again, I'll definitely stop here, get some lunch again. So. Take care, everyone. Thanks for watching. And as always, I'll see you in the next episode. What do you want? I already gave you two fries. You're not getting my pastrami. <laughs>